Moses and his snake. Pharaoh said, If indeed thou hast come with a sign, show it forth, if thou tellest the truth. Then Moses threw his rod, and behold, it was a serpent, plain for all to see. Way before Houdini, we have Moses pulling snakes out of staffs, by the will of Allah, of course. Magic indeed, or not. The staff of Moses has been mentioned often in the Quran. If this word is taken literally, then it would mean staff. A staff is used for protection and for guiding, directing animals like sheep. Its role in this is the reason it is mentioned as Moses was sent to guide his people using divine revelation so they would reach the promised land of truth and social justice. If we take the figurative meaning of this phrase staff, then it would mean the rule of Allah or the message of Allah which was the keynote of the messenger's life. It was the means of strength for the Muslims and compared to which the misguided education and way of life of the Pharaoh did not carry any weight. In this way, these verses of the Qur'an can be interpreted in the light of the relevant context and subject. Snake or serpent can also be re-evaluated by thinking about how this creature moves effortlessly and this brings its metaphorical use as truth without effort overcoming falsehood, for falsehood shall surely perish. It still leaves the listener needing to follow the truth as we will see in the better translation of the verse in context where the wise men of Egypt believed in the message of Moses and Pharaoh did not. Moses said, O Pharaoh, I am a messenger from the Lord of the worlds. It is incumbent upon me that I say about God nothing but the truth. I come to you with clear evidence of the truth from your Lord. So let the children of Israel go with me. Pharaoh said, If you have come with clear evidence, produce it if you are of the truthful. Moses presented his argument that he held fast, with vibrant confidence and logic. The strength of his conviction shone bright to those present. The chiefs of Pharaoh's nation said, This is some knowing wizard. It appears to us that Moses, after gaining some following, plans to throw you out of your land. Said Pharaoh, Now, what do you advise? After consulting, they said, Put him and his brother off for a while and send to the city's men to summon, to bring all debaters to your court. Sahir from Seir, magician, liar, stunningly eloquent, smart poet, deceitful, trickster, cheater, defrauder, dodger, hoaxer, swindler. The debaters came to Pharaoh. They said, Will there be reward for us if we are victors? He answered, Yes, and you will be among those who are close to me. The debaters said, O oh Moses, either you begin or let us be the first to present our case. Moses asked them to begin. When they began they cast a spell on the people's eyes, and struck them with awe and stunned the assembly with their spellbinding eloquence. So, we inspired Moses, respond with conviction, and then see how it swallows their deceptive rhetoric. Asa, staff, cane, strength, conviction, authority, power, strong logic, convincing argument. The truth prevailed and their arguments were manifestly proven false. Thus, they were defeated right there and humiliated. The debaters fell down prostrating. They were convinced and said, We believe in the Lord of the worlds, the Lord of Moses and Aaron. Pharaoh got annoyed. You believe in him before I give you permission. This is a conspiracy you all have planned in the city to drive out its people, in rebellion. But soon you will know, the consequences. I will immobilize you in handcuffs and fetters. Then I will crucify every one of you. Cutting off the hands and feet on the alternate side refers to immobilizing a person, otherwise crucifixion would not be necessary. They responded, We are determined to turn to our Lord. Do you take vengeance on us simply because we believed in the revelations of our Lord when they came to us? Our Lord, 
Bestow on us steadfastness and let us die as submitters. You see how everything falls into perfect place once you have accepted truth over falsehood and the fairy tale interpretations of the Quran. The Quran Unchained